Hey guys, it's Vicki. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a thrift haul, so if you would like to see what I got, stay tuned. Okay, so I spent $150 this last week at the thrift stores, and I want to go through and show you what I got. Um, I went through last night and looked up everything, and I was shocked because almost every single thing that I got I was able to find on Google. <laughs> So I was actually able to see the retail prices, um, and I added everything up, and everything equaled up to right at $3,600. So I thought it was a pretty good haul for $150. So if people buy it, it's a whole other story, but we will see. So let me go ahead and get into this. I will put my little notebook somewhere else. Yeah, this is from Goodwill. Sorry. <laughs> Alright, so the first thing I got were these Adriana Goldschmied. Um, they are the stilt legs jeans. They're the cigarette leg. Very small skinny jeans. Um, I sold a pair of her corduroys. It was the first pair I, I ever got and I sold them for like 30 something dollars. So. Um, for the fact that I had only paid two dollars for them, I was hooked. I was like, well, this is a brand that I'm going to start picking up more. So I went ahead and grabbed these. Um, the retail price for these, a hundred and I think these ones were a hundred and seventy-eight dollars. And I also got another pair. These ones retail for a hundred and ninety-eight dollars. So these are the Stevie Ankle. Ooh. And these are like of a, a beige color. Um, <clears throat> I didn't see very many on Poshmark. So um, she has her own website. It's called uh, AG Jeans. But she's also an exclusive at Anthropology. So these are Anthropology pieces, I believe. Yeah. Okay. So that's those. So these retail for like $198. I was able to pick up these two free people tops. Um, they're both the same, pretty much the same design, but they have these like this leopard print. And then you know how they do the long cuffs. So there was this one and this one. They're in really good condition, they feel pretty new. Um, these retail for $68 each. Uh, this is another anthropology piece. This is a Guinevere. Guinevere. And it's just a simple little cardigan. Um, you know, the prices for a lot of anthropology stuff ranges, I would say maybe... 78 to 98 dollars of course this is an older one so i couldn't find it and obviously i'm not going to sell it for a lot um but it's in good shape so i'm a sucker for brooks brothers uh i don't know why <laughs> um but i picked up this brooks brothers it is a argyle cardigan um i found it online but it had an actual shirt that went with it, so I'm assuming the shirt is no longer with it because I didn't see it. But yeah, it's a merino wool. Real cute. And these retail for over $150 as well. Now I know that retail prices really don't matter on Poshmark, but I always like to know the retail price to put in the section where it says original. Um, some I see, I see a lot of people who just do zero, and I guess I could do zero, but I just... I kind of like to see the difference. I don't know. Alright, so this is a lamb. This is um, one of Gwen Stefani's. This is one of her lines. It's just this cute sweater. It's an oversized sweater. It's got a hoodie. I found one on Poshmark that had sold. I don't remember how much it sold for. It was not very much. But this retails for about $298 according to the internet. I don't know, but... See, I wish I could spend $298 on one article of clothing. I mean, I can barely spend that much on an entire wardrobe, so. This is an Everlane. Now, I don't know if there's any staining. I don't think there is. I tried to look really well, but this is Everlane. Um, it's just like a, I want to say it's silk, 
possibly. But anyway, it's a silk, burgundy, uh, blouse. I don't know if there's any staining. I can't see it. I, I usually find any kind of like hidden stains when I'm photographing. So that's where I will find it. So if you see one, let me know. But all right. And last but not least for this bag is I believe these are Tord. Of course, always pick up Tord. Always look for Tord when I go to the stores. I never find them until this week. All right. So this is Tord denim. Okay, so these are the Tord Lean Jeans. They're like a stretchy, it's kind of like a legging, skinny jean type. Really cute. Um, excellent condition. The quality is amazing. So that was that. Now, I stopped at some new thrift store um, that I've never, it just kind of, it was hidden in a corner. Um, so I went in and they were extremely overpriced and I was like, okay. Um, but I did pick up two things which I kind of regret now because when I got home and started looking at them, I realized one of them has a stain. So this is a Zara Basic. It's like this pretty orange sweater. But I realized, first of all, it had a belt with it, which it did not have when I purchased it. And then I found this little... Where did it go? I know it's here. There's a stain. I don't know if you can see it. But anyway, there's a stain like right around this area, somewhere over here. So I was going to go in the wash pile, so it went to the stain treating pile. I have like five or six things right there that have stains on them that I have to try to treat. Um, I got this, it's just the Zella uh, athletic top. I thought it was cute, it had like the strappy back, which everybody seems to love, the strappy stuff. It has the built-in bra, and then the back is kind of see-through. So, I don't know if you can see it this camera. But anyway, um, Zella is a uh, Nordstrom. So, grab that up. And I got these cute little Adidas superstars for my kid. Um, they're a little dingy. I was told to go get um, Mr. Clean Magic Erasers and that'll actually help with some of that. So, I showed them to her and she's like, oh, I want those. I was like, okay. But they're cute. I would not sell these just because I looked at the comps on them. They were very, very low, like 10 to $15. So I was like, well, I got them from the bins. But <clears throat> Okay. Uh, oh, and this bag is from the bins, what I'm going through right now. All right, so this is a BDG, or a BCX, excuse me. So this is a BCX, it's Macy's. Um, it's just a little mini skirt. It had tags on it still, so I went ahead and picked it up. I thought it was kind of cute. Um, it was originally $39, so not pricey. I'll probably sell it for like 15, 10, 15 bucks. Alright, I got these as well. I had never seen these before, and they're in really good shape, so I picked them up. They are the Skecher Original Bikers. They're the scrunchy. So they're just these cute little peep toe um, sketchers. They're cute. I like them. Um, they are a size 8. I've been trying to pick up size 8 to 10 because apparently those are the more common sizes. What I did was I went online. I was like, what's the most common shirt size for women? What's the most common shoe size for women? What's the common, you know, stuff like that to kind of help me pick out, you know, because the more people, I mean, yeah, you want to sell to those who wear uncommon sizes but I would rather start picking up items that are more common so I'll have more sales. At least that's how I'm thinking. Alright so these they have a little bit of messy where it's chipping and these are old. These are the denim and supply Ralph Lauren. Um, these are called hold on I'll tell you because I wrote it down. Alright these are the star leather wedges you know, I don't really know if these are even in style anymore. I mean, they were in style, obviously, in, what, the 90s? I guess that's when Denim and Supply was big, I think. I don't know. But they were cute. There's no size in it, so I have no idea. So I'm not the actual, you know, measure it myself. Um, they look very small. I would say probably, if not a size 5 or 6, it might be a kid's size. But I'm pretty sure these are not for children, so... But yeah, I thought they were kind of cute. 
And I did find one, um, one of those on Poshmark. Just one. And I think they were brown. Alright, so these are bear traps. I thought they were cute. They're just some little short ankle boots. I guess you'd call them ankle boots. But I like the way they look. And compared to all of the boots in the bin, they were the nicest. They didn't have all the scratches all over them. They weren't falling apart. The seals, you know, the soles weren't coming apart. It does have a little bit of wear, like around this area right here, the seam. But, I mean, it's really barely noticeable. Plus, people like their boots like that, so. I was on Poshmark earlier looking up comps for some boots that I had listed earlier today. And I saw a pair just like the ones that I had, but they were, like, beat up. And I was like, man, and somebody paid like $50 for them. And they were literally beat, like they were just, just completely distressed. I was like, whatever, people like that. So, but yeah. But these were in really good shape. No scuffes. <laughs> no scuffes. So these were in really good shape. There's no scuffing or anything like that. And these were size, what size are you? I don't remember. Hmm. Probably like an eight. Oh man. Oh. These are size seven and a half. Oh well. So much for that getting eight to ten, huh? Alright. And then I picked up these. These are Cole Han. Now I always like to get Cole Han because it is a pricey. These are the Nike Air versions. Um, these are just some black sandals now these are my size I wear a size 10 so I was like you know if I don't sell them then I'll just keep them for myself because these are cute and summer's coming and I don't have any black sandals so they're just slides all right there's that all right and the last bag over here I still have a huge bag right here in front of me but this is the last bag from the thrift stores on that side of town so these I got from a thrift store called Palmetto Thrift. Um, these are just some Lucky Brand boots. Now they are, come on, zip up, baby. They're these boots. They have the zippers. It does have a little scuff mark right here. And it is really, it's kind of soft feeling. I mean, they're broken, obviously. And I don't remember what size these are. I think one of them has a sticker on it. Yeah, eight. So these are size 8. I thought they were really cute, so. so there's that. And I've never grabbed this brand of shoe before, but I like the style of the shoe. It's just a flat, and I love flats. And these are 9 and a half. These are the Gianni Benny, I think that's how you say it. The GB. Um, but yeah, they were in good shape. So I picked them up. And last from this bag, we have a pair of Converse All Stars. Um, they were in really, they're real clean, so that's why I got them. Usually, you do not find these. Well, look, as soon as I said that, I see a little tiny spot right here, but it's okay. Besides that, they're pretty good shape. But they're just these cute blues. And what size are they? They're size six men, so they're eight women. So if anything, I can give them to my oldest daughter. She'd wear them, even with that little tiny spot on. Um, but we'll see. Okay, so this bag right here came from the actual Goodwill retail store. So I spent, I bought this bag last night. I think this is everything I bought last night. Some stuff might be, no. Okay, there is some other stuff in here as well, which I'll go through that too. Okay, so the first thing here is a pair of Seven for All Mankind dojos, but unfortunately, when I got home and I was looking up and down, I found this. There is a hole right here. It is, I don't know if it's an easy fix or not. I won't be doing it, but I'll probably just get my money back for these just sell them really cheap I'm sure there's somebody out there who can put a patch or so I mean it's kind of I don't know I don't even know if it can be done but yeah these are just these wide leg 
they also have a little bit of wear down there so yeah they're gonna go pretty cheap i i just saw dojo and i was like oh dojo and i put them in i didn't even look at them so I'm, that was my bad but the backing has these cute little gems so yeah whatever we all make mistakes all right these are a pair of miss me boot cut jeans they are size 30 I always like the backs of these jeans. I don't know. But so there's just the front and then boot cut. They are they feel really heavy. Um so I guess that's a plus. I didn't see any kind of wear, no staining, anything like that. I obviously I have to wash these things first um before I take photos. I some things I will not wash like if it's silk, I don't like to wash silk because it's dry clean only. Though, I have to say, I did buy a Madewell dress the other day, which is dry clean only. But when I got it home, I realized it had, like, oil spots all over the front. And I was like, well, I'm not going to take it to dry cleaners. So, I only spent $2 on it. I'm going I'm to test it out and see. So, I went ahead and I just put some stain remover stuff on it, put it in the wash, and it actually cleaned it, and it looks amazing. There's nothing wrong with it. So sometimes you can get away with just washing stuff that says dry clean only, but if it's something that's like super pricey, I wouldn't chance it. <laughs> um, all right, so these are Vineyard Vines by Shep and Ian. I don't know if that means it's like a cheaper brand or what, but it's the back I will show you. This is the tag. And these are size 14, so it's a good size. These are straight leg. Um, I was watching a video on what was trending in 2019. And apparently loose jeans are in. And when they said loose jeans, I was just like, like, are they talking about bootcut jeans? It didn't really specify because the people were wearing high-waisted jeans, like high-rise jeans, but they were like boot cut but they were they were loose I don't know I can't really tell the difference like I don't even know what kind I wear I, I think I've always wore boot cut <sighs> anyway alrighty and then we have a pair of not your daughter's jeans ankle these were a dollar so I grabbed them up they're flowers I remember whenever this pattern was super stylish I don't know if it's in style again or if it'll ever come back but these are size 18 W. Okay, and these are size 22s. These are another pair of Tord. Um, a bigger size. They sell pretty well from what I could tell. Um, there is nothing wrong with these. They're in great shape. Nice, good material. Um, I don't know how much I will sell these for, but they retail for like $58, so I will at least try to do half of that. And this is an Anthropology, the Tully, just a corduroy um, blazer jacket. I get tons of these. I find them all the time. It's got like this little flower right here. All right, and my homegirl Lily. All right, so this is a Lily Pulitzer. Um, I forget the name of this one. I wrote it down. This is the Janice Shift Dress. It retails for two hundred and ninety-eight dollars. Um, it does have armpit staining, which I can always—that's easy to get rid of. Um, but on this part right here, I don't know if you can see it, but. It needs to be trimmed up a little bit. There's some, sh you know, s strays hanging out. But once I get that cleaned up and fixed, I think I can probably, I'll probably put it on for like 50 and go from there. I got a bunch of North Face jackets. So this one is in really good shape. Like it's still soft. Um, and I never find one that's still soft. Usually they're all matted and kind of hard feeling. Not hard, but... Um, they're just not soft like this, but so I found this North Face jacket. Um, I forget the name of it. I wrote it down too. I think it's on the back of the sheet. No, North Face. This is the Kumba Kumbu fleece jacket. Kumbu. 
So, North Face, and then it's on the back. But yeah, this is just a regular jacket. I think this is women's, yeah, women's medium. Great condition. So this I can probably sell for about $40 to $50, I'm, I'm thinking, because I sell the kind of beat up ones for $25, so probably. I got two Torrid tops. These are these little pin tuck. These are size 4, so these are a 4X. Real cute. It is sheer, very see-through, so obviously you would wear like a undershirt with it, unless you're brave. Um, and then this one, I like this one a lot. It's got these pretty royal blue polka dots, and it's the exact same as the other. So I got both of those. Finally got some more toward for my closet. <clears throat> so these are Eileen Fisher. I know it's out of season, but it is going to be here before we know it. And people are going on spring break soon. So these are size 9s, and they retail for $225. Um, they are the, I forget what they're called, the class wedge. But it's like a pink leather. Real cute. Um, these were actually purchased from Ross. So. so, I remember a long time ago people telling me to pick up Minnetonka, if I ever found it to pick it up. So, I got to Goodwill yesterday, and as soon as I walked to the shoe area, this girl put these up. And I saw them and I was like, oh wow, that's that brand. And they're in excellent condition. Um, but then I looked at Poshmark's prices for these and they're not good at all. Like eBay, the prices on eBay are more. Like you can sell these for $50 on eBay. But on Poshmark, it's like all about the three layer. The three layered fringe. This is the two layered fringe. So it just has two rows of fringe. So whatever, I'm still going to put them up for like, I don't know, I'm still going to put them up for 30 or something, I don't know, we'll see. I spent $8 on them, so. Alright, and this is just an H&M blazer. I love blazers, I'm addicted to blazers, it was a dollar, so it's not like it's that big of a deal, but it has these big, big buttons on it that I like, but it's just a pretty blazer. Got all the buttons. All the buttons. Now this was a good find, I think. I love Adidas stuff. I especially love the Firebird stuff. Um, this right here is an Adidas Firebird track top jacket. So it's got that on the back and it's got like the blue camo, if you can see it. Um, these retail for a pretty penny. Um, I can sell for about $50 on Poshmark. Um, I paid five. So it's like the velvet. Oh, it's so cute. I love these. Um, this one is very rare. I couldn't find this one anywhere else except for in another country. So last but not least, we have the last jacket, which is a North Face jacket. It does have dog hair all over it, which I'm gonna have to remove. It is soft. It's not too, it's not like as soft as the other one that I got, but it's still, it's okay. It's a small, I believe. I don't know what it is because labels have been worn off. Great. Yeah, it's a small. So, um, yep, yeah, it's kind of like the same as the other, except for this one has these little clasp on the ends here. I don't know what that's for, but yeah. So, just a North Face jacket. And that concludes my thrift haul. Um, I've been waiting. I was like, I'm trying to wait as long as I can to do my video for this haul so I can actually list it. But I still have a bunch of other bags of stuff to list from my last haul. So, <laughs> my Poshmark room is becoming a mess again. I just organized it. But anyway... Alright, that is it. I hope you enjoyed this haul. Um, as I said, I spent $150 and the retail price of everything was $3,600. So I'm hoping to at least get a thousand. 
That's wishful thinking. No, I mean, you never know. I mean, I'm trying to get something out of it. I don't know what I'll get out of it, but... So, I'm trying to at least double to triple the amount that I spent. Um, and I think I could probably do that easily. So, we will see. Anyway, have a great night, and I will see you next Monday if you watch my mystery box haul. Bye!